Hello again everyone, it's been a long time since I posted a video. Um, a lot of people have been having problems with the recording League of Legends video. I didn't really go into enough depth in it before, so I thought I'd redo it a bit. Um, main thing is people not understanding how to use fraps or how to actually <laughs> use the programs in the end. So um, I'm going to go over it again. Um, first thing you're going to need is the log replay client. This, all this does is records your games in a file that you can replay later on. They're small files and they are literally used just to um, replay games. Uh, if you go into the FAQ on here, it's just, it tells you all about it. You can upload it onto the log replay site now, but then you can only play them through League of Legends. You can't upload them to YouTube, you can't upload them to any video sites, you actually need to record them with fraps afterwards. This is just a way of recording games as you play them so you can go back through them at a later time. Um, cause, well, there's not really much more you can say about it. You can't rewind these, like it just says just here, because all, all this program really does is records the packets that are being sent through the client so it just replays actions and it plays them in order it replays pretty much everything that's done in the game in order for everyone so rewinding is impossible but basic idea is you play a game you open the game up in the lol replay client then from that you'll be able to record the parts you want with fraps which is this ah. This is the log replay client. That's what this looks like. So as you can see in here, it's got all my replays from past games. And then you can click on them and it's got the players, items, oh, oh crap. Items, scores, etc. Um so with that you open that up and then you have fraps running in the background. And I'll put a link to LOL Replay and Fraps in the description if you need to get them. The free version of Fraps only allows 30 second clips to be recorded, but you can acquire it some ways. If you have a look in the description, you might be able to get a copy. <laughs> um, so when you open up Fraps, you get this window. I, I just left all of these like default. Uh, same with this. It's this that you want to change. Um, it depends how good your computer is as well. But the basic, well, Fraps works better if you're recording to a secondary hard drive, like the E drive that I've got on mine. And it just takes a load off of the primary hard drive. So if you've got a secondary hard drive, you're going to record games a lot better. And you can record them at higher quality. If your computer is not as good, you go into lag doing this. But because you're not actually playing the game, because you're playing it through low replay, it's a lot better. So you can see the video capture hotkey. Basically, this is the key you push when you start want to start recording a game. The video capture settings. This is the frame rate that the recording is going to be at. I've set mine to 30 because it works well with the videos that you make at the end um, and this full size and half size is for your resolution half size would pretty much half your resolution and make the quality worse but the file size is a lot smaller full size is higher quality higher file size and that I, I never really understood the loop buffer length so I've always just left it the sound record options I've set mine to only record external input at the moment but that's for something else I was doing. Normally you would have this as well. And Fraps isn't too good when you're recording TeamSpeak at the same time. Um, or like any voice over IP program. Unless you set this to your push to talk button. Otherwise you end up getting an all range of sounds coming through and it just ends up a mess. Um, that's what you really need to know the settings. So, oh. <laughs> All you really need to do is open up one of your games, which I will do now. I'll pause it and open one up. I'll be back in a second. Okay, then I'm back. Now, there you go. Oh. 
Okay, now you can see me in game. The low replay allows you to do some pretty awesome stuff with this. Um, okay, it's not really liking this at the moment. But um, I've just had to change the resolution and it's made it bug out. But as you can see in the top left hand corner, I've got my. Um, oh, this is annoying. Yeah, it's got my frame rate at the top left, which will go down when I press my hotkey, which I've set to F5. So, this is a recorded game that's being played through Log Replay. I will press my hotkey, which will then start recording the file and place it in E Fraps Movies, and will record external output, so it record me talking whilst recording the video. So, if I press F5, you can see that in the top left it's gone down to 30 frames which is the setting I set and it will now be recording so now I can change all of this do some funky thing, zoom in a bit etc it will just show gameplay and down here you can see like speed so I've sped it up I've slow mode it now I can just zoom in on some slow mo yeah nice funky So yeah, that's the basic idea. So to stop the recording, I'll press F5 again. As you can see, the frame rate's gone back up in the top left. And if that's all you wanted to record, then you can pretty much close out the game. I'll leave it running for now, though. And I'll just go into my computer. Just drag that over here so you don't see my stuff. <laughs> go into my E... What did I set it to? E... Fraps movies so how minimize this minimize this so now in here I should have if I can find it this one I'll play it with VLC media player you can see that and there you go you can hear me and you can see the video play 30 frames which is the setting I set and it will now be recording so oh. now I can change all of this so yeah that's how it works and then with that file that file is going to be huge I mean just 44 seconds then is one gigabyte you can see it down the bottom so with that you're gonna need to put it into a program like like I've got here Sony Vegas Pro and with Sony Vegas Pro I'll be able to then export this if we go to render as you'll be able to change these settings so one 1280 by 720 uh, 24p works quite well with YouTube you'll be able to customize these so you can set them to your own settings but this will if I can I can't run out to use this very well but this will make the um, file size much much smaller if you want there is a straight upload to YouTube section but I'm not going to use that because I don't really know how well the quality works but it's really easy like when you've done it a couple of times you just need to get used to doing it so if anyone else needs any more help just message me or write in the comments or do anything I'll add download links for the programs in the description for you and good luck it, it can be quite intensive on your computer so just, well, I've still got this running in the background. Yeah, just it, you will need a good computer to do this. Basically, you can record some bad quality videos, but they're not really going to get many views, and people won't find them that interesting because they can't actually see what's going on. But as you can see, you can it's recorded the entire game with my voice over the top of it, and then that's it. So. I hope it goes well. If you need any more help, just message me. And I'll see you around.